Autonomous vehicles are coming faster than you might think. It's not just Tesla and Waymo that are involved. Uber is playing a big role. Lyft is playing a big role with some companies that you maybe have never heard of before. There's a lot that's happening just this week. So let's go through some of the latest news. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. We can start with this. We did see Tesla launch a few vehicles that people have actually seen in public in Austin. The other big change for Tesla is they are now a known operator in the city of Austin. This is their Austin autonomous vehicle page. This is where things like incidents will be documented. But on the bottom of this page, there's something called known autonomous vehicle operators in the city of Austin. So there's a bunch of companies that have been here for quite a while. Zooks, which is owned by Amazon, has been there. Waymo, obviously operating. They're in the deployment phase. Motional is in the mapping phase. AV Ride is testing. ADMT, which is apparent, which is owned by Volkswagen, is using mobilized technology. They are in the testing phase as well. They've been there for a couple of years. But this one is brand new. I think it actually came out today as I'm recording. Tesla is now in the testing phase as well. Tesla has said that they're going to operate on June 12th. That would be Thursday. That seems a little bit optimistic, but we'll see exactly what that looks like. Elon Musk also said that they were hoping to have commercial rides available by the end of this month. Now, one of the things that we'll see over time is this incident dashboard. This is something that you can see every single one of these companies. So right now, if we go into Waymo, for example, and let's just use 2025. How many incidents have they had in 2025? 13 incidents of blocking traffic. 13 safety concerns, five nuisances, one near miss, no collisions that have happened in 2025. So we'll soon begin to see some of that data from Tesla as well. They're going to have a pretty small operating area. I believe it's going to, they're going to start with, with between 10 and 20 vehicles. But if there are instances, those are going to need to be reported just like they are in California. That's information that you can find in that state as well. So it will be interesting to see what that safety data looks like for Tesla because this is the first time they're actually putting safety information in pu the public's hands. All of the autonomous driving that they've done where the car is actually in control has been on private property. Even in California, they've had a license to operate fully autonomously with the safety driver for years, but they have not used that because then you do have to report any incidents or even heartbreaking disengagements that you would have with a Tesla vehicle. They have chosen not to do that We've been getting that data from Waymo for years as they put millions and millions of miles on the road. So really interesting to see how that goes for Tesla. The other big one is that Uber is partnering with Wave. We have heard about this partnership in the past, but they are now launching trials for level four autonomy in the UK. You may remember level three is really the important line in autonomy. That's when the vehicle is actually at fault if there's some sort of incident. Level two is like Tesla's FSD. GM Super Cruise, those kind of driver assist systems, but the driver needs to be present in the seat. And if there's an accident, it's actually the driver's fault. Level three is where you cross over to it being the vehicle's fault if there's an accident. Level four, you don't actually have to have a driver in the seat. So this is going to go through a testing phase, just like we've seen in California, Texas, Arizona. We're going to see something similar in the UK. And Wave is going to develop and launch a public road trials of level four autonomous vehicles in London, and those would make their way to the Uber network. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. One of the reasons Wave is interesting is because they use a pretty similar approach to Tesla. You can see that here, Wave's AI at first approach, known as AV 2.0, moves beyond the constraints of traditional AV systems that rely on HD maps. So that would be systems from Waymo and Mobileye, they use HD maps. In hand-coded rules, geofence domains, instead, Wave's end-to-end -end AI learns from experiences like a human driver enabling it to adapt to new roads, vehicles, and cities with unprecedented efficiency. It sounds like these trials are going to begin in 2026, so that's not going to happen for a little while, but Wave could potentially be another piece of the supply chain for Uber as they try to build up their autonomous supply. They aren't going to be developing an autonomous vehicle, but they want to have autonomous supply on their ride sharing networks. So they're able to benefit from autonomy and they would do that by basically commoditizing those suppliers. They wanna have a lot of suppliers. They don't wanna be just dependent on Waymo or Wave in this case. They wanna have a half dozen or a dozen different suppliers. So that's really the strategy that Uber's taking 
Another company with a similar strategy is going to be Lyft. And Lyft is one of the companies I've talked about a lot here on Asymmetric Investing because autonomy really opens up new optionality for them. Instead of being constrained by the supply problem that they have in the current ride sharing business, remember ride sharing is really about supply. If you're going to have, if you're going to go into an app, you want to have a ride be available at a moment's notice. So who is going to have the most rides available, the shortest wait time for you today? It's likely going to be Uber because they have more drivers on their network. That's really the disadvantage of Lyft. Lyft, on the other hand, could change that by bringing more autonomous supply into the market. They've done that with a couple of different partnerships. May Mobility is going to be launching in Austin this year. So that should be happening later this year. The other big one that they have is with Mobileye. That is a partnership that could allow individuals. That's a partnership that could allow individuals to own vehicles and put them on the Lyft network. You could also have fleet owners buy those vehicles, and then Lyft could actually help them operate those with their fleet management services. So a lot of different strategies going on in autonomy today. A couple of big ones that look like they're moving forward. Tesla is moving forward in the city of Austin. We'll see how those safety numbers look. That's one that could scale pretty quickly, depending on how much supply they can bring to the market and what sort of demand there is for the Tesla ride sharing app. But the two that I think are going to play a bigger role is going to be Uber and Lyft. They are going to be the companies that are aggregating demand for all of these autonomous rides. And I think there's going to be dozens of suppliers. I have just covered a couple of them here, but there are a lot of companies who are moving forward with autonomous vehicles, who are manufacturing vehicles today, who are getting them on the road, testing them. This is going to be something that scales a lot quicker than a lot of people think. And there's not just going to be one or two players in the market. There is going to be a lot of players in the market. And this is a very, very fast moving industry. I think by the end of the decade, if you want to take an autonomous ride almost anywhere, at least in the U.S., that is going to be available to you. So we'll see how this plays out. A lot to cover. I'm going to be back covering autonomous vehicles a lot on asymmetric investing. because I think this is a huge opportunity for investors. But let me know what you think about the news from Tesla and Uber in particular. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.